In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the tools that we can use to move, copy, and rotate entities in a LibreCAD drawing. These tools are found under the Modify section over here in the menus, or under the Modify icon over here. So the first one I'm going to look at is Move, is the Move Copy tool. So um, I'm going to select Move Copy, and it says Select to Move. So I need to select the entities I want to move. So I'm going to select this rectangle and the circle, and press Enter. Then it says specify the reference point. Now the reference point defines where we're going from. I don't need these turned on. Um, so, and that point can be anywhere on the entity itself. So I could select one of the corners, for example, or it can be off the entity. So I'm gonna select a point here on just on snapping to the grid. And then it says specify the target point. And as you can see, as I move my cursor around, I'm getting an, an example of where the entity would be drawn if I was to click here. So I'm going to choose this point and I'm going to click. And then I've got three options. I can either delete the original, which is effectively then a move. So I'm making a copy of the original to a new place and then deleting the original. So now the entity has been moved to a new place. If I say keep the original, then both the original and the copy will exist, so it's effectively a copy. I can also say multiple copies. So in this case, I've got three selected. It's going to keep the original and give me three copies. So I'm going to say OK, and then just escape out of that. And you can see that we've now got the original and three copies of that thing. This is a very useful tool for either moving or copying entities or, or parts of drawings. All right, I'm going to press. I'm going to undo that so that we can go back to the original drawing. All right, so then the next one is the rotate option. Now I'm going to just demonstrate something slightly differently here. Previously, I had to. I chose the tool and then I selected the entities. You can also select the entities first. So I'm going to select the circle and the rectangle and then I'm going to choose the tool. So I'm going to say rotate. And now it asks me to specify a rotation center. So I'm going to choose this bottom corner of this, of this bottom right hand corner of the rectangle as my rotation center. That is the point about which it will rotate. Then it asks me to specify a reference point. And this again can be any point that is convenient for you. So I'm going to cl click on a point that is directly to the left of my rotation center. And it doesn't really matter where on, li on the, that line that I choose. So if I choose this corner of the rectangle, for example. And now it's asking me to specify a target point. And again, as you, you see, as I move my cursor around, you can get an idea of where this rotated copy is going to be placed. Um, so let me rotate it by 180 degrees and I will choose over here. Actually no, I'm not going to do 180 degrees because I want to show you something else. Um, I'm going to go with 90 degrees over here. And again I have the option to delete the original, to keep the original, or to make multiple copies. Okay, and if I say I want to keep two copies and I'm going to have the original, which is pointing off to the left, and I'm going to have two copies rotated by 90 degrees each, which would mean pointing down and pointing to the right. So I'm going to say OK. And that's exactly what I've got. They've all rotated around this corner over here. This is the original pointing off to the left. Then there's one copy pointing down. And then there's another copy pointing to the right. All right, so that's then the rotate tool. Again, I'm just going to undo that. And I'm going to select this object again. And we can then look at the next one, which is the scale tool. Okay, and this allows us to change the size of an object. So I'm going to select, and again it says specify the reference point. Okay, in this case I want to choose as the reference point the center of the circle. And the easiest way to do that is to use the snap center um, option. And I'm going to turn off the snap to grid, and then we can snap to the center of the circle. And now it's asking me again, do I want multiple copies? Do I want to keep the original or delete the original? And it's giving me a scale factor. Okay. Um, so if I multiply it by one, it's going to stay the same size. If I make it 
one, let's make it 1.5. So I'm going to make it 50% larger. Notice that I'm only putting in an x value and the y value is, is keeping track, it's matching it. That's because I've got this isotropic scaling turned on. Isotropic scaling means that I'm scaling the x and the y by the same amount. I could turn that off and then I could put in a different amount for the y. But I don't want to do that. I just want to keep it isometric scaling. We're going to leave x as 1.5. And again, I'm going to make multiple copies just to show you what happens. Okay, let's make them three copies. Okay, and I'm going to say OK. And now I've got my original, which is this one. And then I've got a copy that's one point that's 50% bigger. That's this one. And then I've got another copy that's 50% bigger than that. And another copy that's 50% bigger than that. Okay. So again, generally you, you often don't need to make multiple copies, but you can if you need to. And, and this tool is very useful if you need to scale um, an object up or down. Notice that I could have put in there, instead of just 1.5, I could have put in 0 0.8, for example, and then I would be scaling it down. All right, again, I'm going to undo this. And let's look at the next tool. So again, I'm going to select my object. And the next tool then is the mirror tool. So I'm going to select mirror. And it asks me to specify the first point of the mirror line. I'm going to go back to snapping to the grid. And I'm going to choose a vertical line over here from there. And then see it says specify the second point. And I'm going to choose a second point here to define a horizontal, a vertical line. And I'm going to then again have the option to delete the original, keep the original. I'm going to say keep the original. And now I've got a mirror image of that object reflected about a vertical line. I'm going to do it again just to show you. And I'm going to say mirror. But this time I'm going to specify a horizontal mirror line and keep the original. And now I have four copies. Um, that have been mirrored from the original. Again, a useful tool. This is particularly useful if you have a, uh, a drawing that is symmetrical and you can draw half of it um, and then just mirror it to get the other half. All right, let's look at one more tool. All right, we have the move and rotate tool. All right, and I need to select the entities I want to move and rotate and press enter. And then again, I need to specify a reference point. So I'm going to take, let's take this bottom corner as the reference point. And then I want to specify a target point, but notice that it's rotated as I'm moving around. And the angle by which it's rotated is specified over here. So I've specified a value of 45. So now I can put this anywhere I like. And not only is it moved, I think I'm just going to keep the original. Now let's make multiple copies, why not? Okay. And I'm going to get the, the object both moved from this point to this point, and then similarly from this point to that point. The relative distances are exactly the same. And then this one is rotated 45 from there, and then this one is rotated 45 from, from there. So we can rotate an entity and move it at the same time. And then let's undo that. Select my entity again. We have an option called rev Rotate 2. This allows you to rotate around both an absolute and a relative point at the same time. I can't imagine why you would need that, and I don't see how it doesn't seem to work very well. So I'm not going to cover that one. And then revert direction is something that we won't need. Um, when you draw a line in CAD, if you start, let's say, on the left-hand side, and then you end on the right-hand side, the line is going from the left to the right. Now, sometimes these files, these CAD files that we create, can be used to, to drive what is called a computer numerical um, machine. It's a machine that cuts metal according to the specification in the drawing that you give it. And in those cases, sometimes it's important to tell the machine that you want to be cutting from the left to the right and not from the right to the left. This revert direction tool 
allows you to change the direction of the line. So maybe you've drawn it from left to right, but in fact you want the machine to cut from right to left. This tool would then help you to do that. All right, I think we're up to about 10 minutes in the video. I think I'm going to, to stop there and we'll come back to trim and these other tools in a later video. Thanks for watching.